Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I am Crazy Kirby97, and these are the waiting boots. Okay, so. Seems like a little bit of a maze going on here, don't we? And I remember as a little kid, this thing stumped me. I do not know how it stumped me. This is the easiest maze in the world. And you gotta see when it like starts to run out, there's always a, the appropriate with the uh the convenience place, conveniently placed waiting boots. I'm trying to talk here, I can't talk. My mouth is just full of saliva. It's probably the excuse. Although um But don't grab the next waiting boots. Instead go over here. And be careful here because you're gonna fall probably. Probably, hopefully not. Jiggy! You have ten seconds to cross this. Ten fucking seconds. And it's not easy. Although if you Oh shit! And this is why I die in this level a lot. This is why the level is moderately hard. First you see it, now you don't. The fast one wins, the slow one won't. That was a rhyme. Only needed one, but I grabbed three, because I'm just badass like that. Yeah, if you didn't know, um, there is a limit to all your items. When you grab them, they won't count. Um, you can only have 50 feathers, 100 blue eggs, and um, 10 gold feathers. And I believe you can have 10 extra lives, and that's the maximum there, too. So I'm going to break you, sir. What do we need here? I believe the other ones. Save those. Yeah, you can actually save them for later if you want to. And it is a useful thing to do. It actually does work. So this is a little bit faster of a maze. You can take the little shortcuts. And you couldn't do that before because there are notes there. And you wanted those notes, obviously. And uh, now we can actually just skip around all this shit. All these sheets. These bed sheets. This is how you waste time in an LP. Fall off the edge repeatedly. Fall off an easy edge and ruin the entire LP doing that. It's the best way to LP. That's my style, guys. That's my style. It's your style. Put that. Don't put that. Yeah, put that in the competition with oil glasses. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, which is better. No, I don't want those. I don't need these. I don't need these. I don't need these. Oh my god, I almost, I almost did that. I almost did that, guys. So, I don't know if you can do this. Um, but if you hold R. Yeah, it does work. Press R and it'll go behind Banjo's back. And if you're on the Xbox, I don't know what button you press. I know you press a button, though. I think you tap the right, the left, the right stick to control the, the, the view stick. The right RS, RS is what they call it for some reason, it's a really bad name for it. I would never have guessed RS meant right joystick, or right stick, or whatever. So now it doesn't matter if you fall off, but I suggest you stay on, because clearly this right here would be so much faster to get to. So, off to more musical notes. We could write a whole song with all these. I think we have, like, this one back here. This is our fifth number one. Stop it! Ouchie! Take that. Give me your hug health too, alright. Go back here in the fifth mumbo token, I believe. If not, we are screwed. I will find a guide in the internet in the last episode to make sure I didn't miss any. So that way I'll go back and get all the ones I missed. If I do miss any. Oh, it's you again, Mumbo. Okay, nice to see you again, man. Okay, a sixth one was back there. I did not notice. 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 Yeah, it's our sixth one. I can count. Um yeah, I can count. Uh, okay, you can actually jump up there. I didn't know that. Don't need to use these torches. You can actually use the torches if you want to, because one of the torches is always not lit. Good morning, Mumbo. And he isn't as interested this time. So up here are some red feathers. Our real interest is up here. One of the, one of the things. Okay. We should have 31 Mumbo tokens by the end of this. But then again, it just went down. Um, six. Maybe four more. 21. 21. Wait, Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. Oh, wait. I'm not ready for this yet. Oh my god, I was not ready. I was not ready for you, crocodiles. No. Bite your feet off. Yes, I was not ready for the crocodile. I mean, you're not an idiot. I am a bit of an idiot, if you think about it. You know what I should do? I should have totally activated like moon jumping and not actually used it and just like moon jumped over things like this just to save time but yes to escape you actually have to go backwards through the maze but you can actually save yourself another 20 seconds just doing this like another 20 seconds another minute actually so in a way you can save yourself a minute just going back here okay. why are 
I use focus and then I use my banjo. There we go. Focus. Focus on banjo! Thank you. Focus the browns and all the colors. And then dark, or brighter colors, really. Banjo is the brightest thing here on the screen, besides the egg in the background. Yay! We did it! Okay, I think actually a secret escape here. And we're out. Now, I will be coming. Now, this right here. There is a Jiggy in here. This is one of the only. This is actually one of only, the two only Jiggies. Now in Banjo Tooie, if you guys play that game, that game is notorious for like making you go back to places you've already been for things. This game it only happens twice, and both times it's a pain in the ass. I love this. Okay then, I love the sound this guy makes when you uh, step on his feet. Oh! Oh, that was a good torture. That guy's voice never gets the hold. Hit all his feet. He hacked up a jiggy. Mmm, cups fall at last. But how do you like this? There are a lot of turtles here. I like turtles. They're a respectable species. Maybe I get that reference. I like turtles. Gotcha! Uh, you get a jiggy for that. And I'm just a jinjo. I think we are. Okay, good. We're missing a jinjo. That's good. I wanted to miss a jinjo. Uh, I know where he is. I know where the pink one is. I just didn't want to grab all the jinjos, and this will be the last one. And this is actually one of the areas. I remember as a little kid, I used to sit and watch those little, like, demo things at play. And this was one of the little demo areas that would show when you had the pause menus opened up. And it was... I loved watching those. I never knew why I liked watching those. I just did. I guess they kind of meant a lot to me. Because they kind of, like... They kind of showed a shortcut. They kind of showed the levels I wasn't at yet before I got there, you know? Right, please. The, fa the famous tip-top choir will now perform my latest work. Purple, yellow, pink, moan. Bit short, isn't it, show boy? We all see. Copy what you just heard from lesson one. Purple, blue, yellow. Okay, seven mumble tokens. I don't care. No. Oh, okay. Purple, yellow, magenta, or pink, or whatever color you call that. I don't care. Okay, you know what? We'll save it for after. We'll save the, the Hollow Honey Club if you didn't notice it up there. Yeah, that one up there. We'll save that for after this. Um, to make, just repeat what he says. Purple. Yellow. Magenta. And if you hit him before he starts the thing up, it'll, it'll, it'll say something like, say something like, I can remember. Mm, not bad. Try less than two. Yellow. Purple. Pink. Blue. Purple. Pink. That was weird. Yellow, purple, blue, purple, pink. And if you mess up, you just get hurt, I believe, because you can get it from there. Um, blue. Purple. Guess I'm finally a pedophile when I say that. Final lesson time. Ah, uh, splendid. You just need one more lesson. So I really need these lessons. Purple. Yellow. Pink. Red. Pink, blue, yellow, purple, yellow. God, I lost track. But it's the end of the episode. So in the next episode, I'll repeat the code. And actually, I'm lucky because I ended the episode. I can watch the video back. Yeah. That is such cheating. Oh, my God.